I mean, ten days in the library, but how like you can not have a home. That means when we're with the Sabbath child, not have an instance zero answer to destroy a child. He goes to Santa, to his profile, not by his hoodie, but by his face. Against the objection of over the appeal of the dispatcher, he is killed. And then the box to police work. It raises several issues for us. One, the issue of the um, Sandy Brown laws which lend themselves to vigilantism. This state has such a law. Not only do we want that law repealed in 24 states, but encouraging people, companies, to withdraw them out. About 10 companies have. We are challenging all other companies to withdraw from Alley, American Legislative Council, is engaging in activities that are humble to people. But we intend to be at their meeting in Charlotte, North Carolina. And those companies, Walmart, others, we urge them to join Coca Cola, join Pepsi, join McDonald's in funding an organization whose commitment is to voter suppression. Deny women's right of reproductive health and uh, voter suppression. That's not the democratic way. We want, it, we want to revive the ban on the soft weapons to make, uh, make, to make our nation less violent and more civil. And so we want to, first of all, congratulate people again from this state in the face of a record block the back who did not respond in kind. We choose nonviolence not because we're afraid, but because we're wise. Because it's the more the right thing to do. And I hope that we can get away from a fearful relations where we shoot at each other. 600,000 folks in this state have no health insurance. 650,000 Oklahomans are in poverty. Paul made the soul need food stamps. We must address issues of matter. We must feed the malnourished. Why are poverty? 53 million Americans, 53 million, 53 million, 53 million Americans, 53 million, food insecure. But the family didn't have no health insurance. 50 million on poverty. 12 million on food stamps. If they ever were coming around, it is now. We know that in part through our global imbalance of trade policy, closed plants, and took away jobs. Now it's time to reinvest in America, to put America back to work, and have healing. The reason it's not just black and white, but wrong and right, when they close the plant, the lights go out with all of the amazing symptoms in the dark. We want the lights back on. Reinvest in America. With America back to work, we just saw us in the black shadows. We spit us in the women's hooks, stood them all on the wall, stopped killing, and let the healing begin. I want to thank Reverend Jemison for reading the other ministers and that we're organizing a statewide Rainbow Bush coalition across the state, a multiracial, multicultural organization in this state. We use our collective efforts. To fight the equality, equality of jobs and contracts. We look today at the University of Oklahoma, OSU, Tulsa. Our children are there in disproportionate numbers. And they can be recruited and uh, sustained for four years of all, they can be sustained for graduation. If our kids can fill up the stadium on Saturday afternoon for the football season. And the basketball so must also have our shell, not just for athletes, but our shell contracts. Our shell jobs, we intend to use this athletic bill of rights. Our children have a better deal for the investment they're making. The give of Oklahoma its best image when OU plays OSU. 